Welcome back to Red on the 1120's channel. We are gonna play some Super Mario World. Let's get started before I start with the interview. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, hello again, guys. Red on the 1120's here to start my third LP. My, um, my second one, Assassin's Creed, is on hold right now because I had to give the disc back to the guy who owned it. <clears throat> Anyways. As I said, this is Super Mario World. Uh, as you can see, I've already done everything there is to do in the game once. Let's go ahead and get started with Mario B. The one-on-one player game. Welcome! This is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser was at it again. Big freaking surprise. As you can see, we start out with five lives, and zero coins, and zero points. What's that star up there for? What's the timer for? Well, obviously what the timer's for. What's that blue box up there for? What's the deal with those fruits? We'll get to those as we get to them. Let's start the game. Get a little bit more story if we go to Yoshi's house. Hello. Sorry I'm not home, but I've gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Yoshi. Okay, uh, I'm going to be doing everything there possibly is to do, but I'm going to be recording it the same way Nintendo Capri Sun records his Let's Plays. That is to say, I'm going to record whatever I can until either I feel it's a good time to stop or my phone runs out. Anyways, uh, before we start going, I might want to turn this up a bit because I doubt you can hear it. It's the one thing I love and hate about the camcorder vision at the same time. There we go. Mario! Let's go! I have some lyrics here, but it's stupid as all hell. Welcome to the I <laughs> And that's what I get for stupid lyrics. I also get a fuzzy camera that'll fix itself as it just did. Okay, let's try that again. Welcome to the. Oh, what the hell? Damn Banzai Bill, or Banzai Bill, however the hell you pronounce it. Take three. Welcome to the island, dinosaurs like Yoshi, Bowser the Koopa King has got the princess again, Mario and Luigi must now team up to save her, fight through the Koopa kids and beat down Bowser again, chocolate desert, valley of Bowser, vanilla dome and Yoshi's island, saving the princess now is all in a day's work, and then you've got super a Mario world. Alright, um, you notice those coins with a dragon face on them that I was getting? Like that right there? Those are not required for 100% completion. But if you collect the five that are in each level, you will gain an extra life. There's a checkpoint bar. Now I guess I should start explaining what each what everything does. X uh, the directional pad is obviously to move. I'm playing this on the Wii, uh, just so you guys know. Um, so... Uh, B is to jump. If you hold down Y, you can run faster. As I damn near die. Also, keep your eye on the timer because there is a time limit. As you may or may not have guessed. <laughs> Mario used Koopa Shell against Banzai Bill. It's not very effective. <laughs> Anyways, um... That enemy I just jumped on is called a, um, a Rex, excuse me. Banzai Bill, as I mentioned, that's a piranha plant, obviously. And and that is a charging chuck, an enemy that has own, that has not appeared in any Mario game before this one or since it. If you break the tape at the end of the level, you get stars. 
and those count towards a bonus level that you will uh, play if you collect 100 stars. You saw the mushrooms I was picking up, those obviously are super shrooms. You clear a level, it opens a path to another one. In this case, we are going from Yoshi's Island 1 to the Yellow Switch Palace. Let's have some fun with it, shall we? There's a piece which you can hit, which makes a crap ton of coins appear. Like so. Very easy to get one-ups in these, uh, in these, uh, Switch Palaces. See, I got two already. Make that three. Now, the objective of any Switch Palace is to hit the Switch of the Switch Palace, like so. Epic dispersal. Continue and save. Okay, back down the ladder. Dun, dun, dun. Now to Yoshi's Island 2. Neat trick you can do to get a 1-up. Koopa Shell! Boom! Welcome to the island of dinosaurs like Yoshi, Bowser, the Goomba King. And now, get ready for what makes this probably one of my favorite Mario games prior to the Nintendo 64. Yoshi! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg. Alright, now, before we move any further, I'm going to finish explaining the controls. As I mentioned, the D-pad moves. Y lets you move faster. B is to jump, A does a spin jump, and X I'm never going to use anyways. So, um, L and R are useless unless you're on the uh, map screen. Plus pauses, select uses the spare item, and that's about all we need to know. Once we get on Yoshi, if you hold down the, if you press and hold the Y button while you're moving, you will make Yoshi do this. Eat stuff. Uh, what he does with what you eat depends on what you eat. For example, if you eat a red Koopa shell, if there is one to be eaten, excuse me, <laughs> inadvertent, <laughs> unintentional kill, I'll take that any day of the week. Okay. This gate marks the middle of this area. By cutting the tape here, you can continue from close to this point. Always remember that. Another Yoshi egg in case you lose this one. One up. Those are Monty Moles. You can eat those for a few extra points. Yoshi, unfortunately, cannot climb vines, so you're going to have to get off of him to do so. To do that, you do a spin jump, like so. Mini coin heaven up here. There's a dragon coin to be found. That's what those coins are called. If you eat enough fruit, you'll gain... Something from Yoshi, I don't remember what. Another freaking shroom. There it is. Another freaking shroom. Maybe I shouldn't uh, be so critical of so many power shrooms. Because <laughs> Monty Mole just took one from me there. Yoshi can eat damn near anything. Uh, except charging chucks. You can jump on them though. Three jumps, and the charging truck is dead. Hit the P block, everything turns into blocks, and you have a good time to get the 40 star points that are, I think, your max for hitting the um, end gate tape when it is at the very peak of its gate. I could be wrong, and if anybody knows otherwise, please feel free to correct me. Okay, on to Yoshi's Island 3. I love that bongo edition in the background, whenever you're riding Yoshi. You, you, you control those platforms with your momentum. By which I mean, you, whichever way you push the con control pad, when it's stationary, the platform will move in that direction. Another one up for you. Now, if you eat a red Koopa shell and you spit it out, he spits hot fire! <laughs> sorry, Chappelle Show reference, I had to. I'm sorry.
pulley, uh, pull, excuse me, what is your shear stripper? Um, a pipe, you can go down with the dragon coin. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I will try to get as many dragon coins as possible, but I don't know if that will be possible to get every single dragon coin in the game. Um, I will be getting all 96 exits. So prepare for some extreme frustration and rage on my part because some of these exits are a bitch to get. Uh, you just saw me go have a fire flower that will allow Mario himself to spit hot fire. <laughs> and if you listen to um, the background music on just about every level, it's a it's a main it's basically twistings of the theme of. The Yoshi's Island 1 music that you heard, and 2, the Super Mario World ground theme, as I think it's called, on the 20th, 25th anniversary of Mario soundtrack. Um, the whole, the whole, every, just about every piece of music in the game, aside from the underground music and such, is derived, is derived from that, um, Musical riff. Anyways, we are now in Yoshi's Island 4, with the introductions of Cheap Cheeps, more Fire Flowers, more Dragon Coins, Water, and I really hope to God I don't wake my grandmother up. <laughs> Poor Peach, she needs her rest. Alright, uh, Yoshi's turn to... Ah, damn it. Oh, well, at least we get... even to kill those spikes there. And yes, we do eventually run into Big Bertha at some point in the game, as so many people like to call her. But the Runaway guys, I think, have the best name for her for that particular style of cheap cheap that I've ever heard. They call it the Porky Puffer. And we are now about to play our first bonus game because we have collected 100 stars. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's like slots. Hit the damn boxes, Mario. No, oh, there we go. I'll take that. I have never gotten all nine stars, so I have no freaking clue what happens if you get that. Anyone who knows otherwise can. Anyone who does know can feel free to tell me. Anyways, we are already at Iggy's castle. Okay, uh, the gimmick behind this is you have to leave Yoshi behind if you have him. But you make it through the if you make it through the castle properly, you will get to fight one of the seven Koopa kids. You press up with the control pad while clinging while jumping, and you can cling to the mesh fence to go in the door at the end of this area. Use up as well, which means when you're in front of the net, press up and you'll grab onto it. And you can traverse pretty much the entire level this way. If you want to attack anyone, just press Y. Now, which button this is on the Super NES, I have no freaking clue. I also don't remember which one it is on the Game Boy Advance, because it's been so damn long since I played that particular version. Uh, you're meant to have a, um, a, a shroom come out of that, unless you hit the P block. Yep, okay. So that's what that does. Alright. Uh, just go along here, killing Koopas, dodging the Podobus, which is the proper name for those fireballs, believe it or not. Uh, punch. Take you out. And you can flip these gates and go on the other side of the mesh. Pretty cool. Of course, it's rendered completely useless once you jump and go to the other piece of mesh. Boom. One of Yoshi's friends is trapped in the castle by Iggy Koopa. To defeat him, push him into the lava pool. If you have fireballs, as I do, or even whether or not you have fireballs, this fight is pretty damn easy. This part often will get you if you don't know what you're doing because of those pillars. They have very little warning to them. You can get in front of some of them, as evidenced here. I sometimes prefer to stay back until boom. And now we fight Iggy Koopa. 
The only thing with him is he only goes where gravity lets him. But as you can see, you learn really quick. And World 1 is done. Sorry if my camera is out of focus. I'll fix that for the next video. He blows up the castle, castle crumbles, white flag. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's Island who is still trapped, Yoshi's friend, excuse me, who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. Continue and save. And I think that's a good place to end this video off. Okay, we completed the world already. Uh, we're going to end this off here. Oh, and we have uh, 18 lives. That's not a bad count at all. Okay, so uh, if you like this part, if you like this video, then um, subscribe to my videos right below this video. Big gray button. Give me, good, give me lots of thumbs ups to the right of said subscribe button. And be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one. My other videos if you like this one, excuse me. Okay, uh, this is Mana1120 signing off. And I will talk to Yins later.